Tonight, we have new developments in a story we first brought you last week. Sioux Falls neurosurgeon Dr. Wilson Esfora is accused of defrauding the federal government, performing unnecessary surgeries, breaking the law, and harming patients in the process. Kelloland Investigates has discovered that this isn't the only current civil lawsuit against Esfora. Kelloland's Angela Kennedy has the details on that case. The 2016 civil lawsuit brought by the U.S. government and two doctors who complained about Dr. Wilson as far as practices was recently unsealed in federal court. That case involves a medical device for back surgeries. Kevlevan Investigates has found a former Dr. S. Fora brain surgery patient who is also suing, but this civil case is in state court. Robin LeBeau underwent brain surgery in 2016 at Sanford Health. She claims the surgery was unnecessary and left her disabled. The chief of police, he asked me if um, I would become a female police officer because we didn't have any on the reservation and they needed them. And so that's when he sent me to training. Robin LeBoy was just the second woman to graduate from the Indian Police Academy and work as a tribal officer in Eagle Butte. As part of the Tribal Council, she went to Washington, D.C. to help get the Violence Against Women Act passed. In 2015, she started getting headaches after a fall and underwent an MRI at Indian Health Services. And they told me that I had this brain tumor and I was going to go blind and it grew significantly and that I needed to um, see a surgeon here in Sioux Falls and go through um, brain surgery immediately. So she met with neurosurgeon Dr. Wilson S. Fora in September of 2016. His exact words were, we are going to suck this booger out. In her lawsuit, LaBoy alleges that S. Fora claimed to have removed a tumor from her brain and informed her the brain surgery was necessary to remove a tumor, which he claimed was causing the symptoms she was experiencing at the time. There should not have ever been a brain surgery performed on me that I was not a candidate for this brain surgery. If he would have looked at all my medical records, he would have seen that I did not need surgery. LeBeau claims something went horribly wrong during surgery at Sanford Health. I never forget that day because that's the day they told me I hemorrhaged um, because he nicked my Duracell. According to LeBeau's medical records from the Mayo Clinic, the surgery was complicated with hemorrhage, requiring surgical repair. LeBeau says following the surgery, she has suffered memory loss, physical disability, and the loss of employment, as well as the loss of future medical care and treatment. I worked hard. I had a career. I took care of my son, myself. I never had to depend on nobody. And now I have nothing. And he took all of that from me. In court papers, according to LeBeau's medical records, she did not have the type of tumor as Fora claimed, rather a condition known as Rathke's cleft cyst. A Rathke's cleft cyst is a benign growth found on the pituitary gland in the brain. In his response to the lawsuit filed in Minnehaha County Court, Dr. Asfora admits that he attempted a transphenoidal cyst removal, but denies any negligence or causing any injuries. Two years following the surgery, a Mayo Clinic doctor reported that the Rathke's cleft cyst was unchanged since 2012. He does not recommend any surgical intervention and avoid it if all possible. LeBeau was also diagnosed with a post-traumatic brain injury. I'm suing because they took my life and they took it away from me. They took my brain. I never knew the value of my brain until this happened, and I'll never get that back. Kettleman Investigates reached out to Dr. Asfora's attorney and Sanford Health about the civil lawsuit. Sanford Health issued us a statement denying the allegations, which you can read on this story on Kettleman.com. Kettleman Investigates found in state court there have only been a handful of lawsuits filed against Dr. Asfora dating back to 2006. It appears all but LeBeau's were settled and dismissed. Complicating matters, LeBeau says, no attorney is willing to take her case, so she is representing herself. Thanks, Angela. A hearing in this case is scheduled for Monday. Now